Hey guys, Dashing Subtitle here, and in this video, we're going to be doing the BBR quarterfinals against T. Rowe Price and the Columbus Cobalians. So as we see, my opponent brought the Tinkaton, the Hatterene, the Dawn Fan, the Iron Moth, the Roar Moon, and the Palafin. Interesting, that, interesting no, no one I like is really nice. No bigger to squawk ability or frost last, so you brought one, two... Three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm I'm chill with this. I I I am chill with these six. Okay. So I believe what we always do in this lead is just Lee Corvinite. Because they they always lead Palafin here. And yeah. Um yeah, my point always leads Palafin. I, I, I have many mocks, and this came in one of them, so this came in one of those nice. Really nice that these six came in one, in one of the mocks. Yeah, our lead is always Corvin on, on Palafin lead. And if they don't film, we click U-turn, I believe, or something. As long as I'm wrong, but I'm okay. Um, the Corvin I lead, so okay. They probably lead Palafin, if I have to guess. They lead the Iron Moth. That's not great. That's honestly not great. Okay. You're not a booster. Good to know you're not a booster. I thought I had the Cassio but whatever, okay, it's fine. Um I think we're going to half I think our swing is always A because I did the calcs. One um hit one uh one of uh, fire dance both and psychic should not kill me ever. Should not kill me ever. Just good to know. Yep, okay. If you get both stack boost, you should never kill me. 289. 289. Wait, we're at level 100 for some reason. Um, that's a bit of a problem, actually. Uh, I don't think Tiro did the comp correctly. Um, we are not supposed to be level 100, but it, since we are 100, 100, um, it did how much damage to me? It did 289. So that's a roll for, um, I think, uh, no booster, of course. That's a roll for a no plus attack. So we're going to try to go for a rock tomb. For max plus attack, that is. Okay. You want to Hatterene, or who is this? Don Van. Good to know Don Van. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's fine, honestly, I believe. I think here we go for Stealth Rock. Yeah, we go for Stealth Rock here. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I am at, um... What's my... Okay, I am at, um... I have, um, 150 base power from the... No, wait, do I? Wait. Yeah, they fire dance me, then they get the player off. So that is 100 base power from my Annihilate on the Dawn fan, which should put after a good strong. I'm going to think my best play here now is just click Rage Fist. Helmet, good note, Helmet. Okay, that's helmet, not the best for me. Mm. Fair play, okay, fair play. Uh, there are no hazards up. This is helmet, so this is a free fish. I believe this is a free fish. It's Rocky Helmet. I'm level 100, because for some reason Tiro had level 100. Uh, this is a free lava plume, I believe, because it's no longer sturdy, meaning I can always go to you here. I can always go to lava plume. Yeah, we can always go Lava Plume the situation. We can always go Lava Plume. 
because the no the no rocks are up. Yeah, no has to drop, so we could terrify her. And honestly, I don't see a reason not to terrify her here. Because um we can't bluff and into a fairy. So we're gonna lava plume. You switch out into who? Palafin, Roaring Moon? Who? Iron Moth, that's fine. That's fine for me. I'm fine with that. Okay, 54 to 64, it says in the calc. Hmm. Who, what are you going for? That's 50-ish. So that's good. That's fine. We can we can also just click it again because um they can't really kill me with anything. I don't think Iron Moth gets Thunder Wave. I'm gonna just double check that. While I'm here, maybe. Let me just check Iron Moth. I don't think this is gonna really hurt my Chiyu, really. Let me just check. Why is why is Dio taking 10 years to load? Iron Moth. No Thunder Wave. That is amazing for me. We are just gonna him again. That does a little bit. Okay, that didn't, didn't kill. We got you off. This is amazing. Now, okay, Iron Moth, one of my one of the bigger threats are gone. One of the bigger threats of my team are gone. Um, biggest threats to me now are the Palafin, I would say. The Palafin sure is a problem. I will say that the Palf Palafin is a problem. They could either, it could go with Palafin with Jet Punch. I still, I, I still have my choice on Corvin, which is really nice. I think, yeah, that's the Palafin, okay. I think I am in range of Jet Punch in this form, so that's not the best. <clears throat> so they, they may stay in, honestly. But they're, prob they're probably switching if I'm... They probably are switching. Or click a flip turn, one of those, so... I don't think I go Gastrodon. I could go Corvin, I could go Corv. I could totally go Corviknight, and I think I may go Corv on this, maybe? This is hard. Do I really need Chiyu for anything else? It does Revenge of Dawn fan, but I aren't I in range of rocks? I may be. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna click Lava Plume and see what they do. Here on, they may just double. They may double with the Palafin to get into hero form. So I don't know. It, if Chiyu dies, Chiyu dies. It's fine. I have was out of this. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't tell me anything, but that, that's fine. I'm fine with this. I'm fine. I'm fine with this trade. Okay. Okay. Your leftovers expected because um, my you're probably you're probably you're probably saw bulk of your jet punch. That set just ruins me, which is why I expect that set, of course. Um. I think I go Corvin right now, and click Rave Bird. If they go Tinka, that's a good play, I guess. We don't want to like a body press, so I'm just going Brave Bird. And who are you giving me? Who are you giving me? At this point, I have no idea who who you are giving me. I can just click Brave Bird and something dies. Except Tinkaton. Tinkaton. I don't. I don't, I doubt you're switching Tinkaton and Corviknight because you can't really do much with a Tinkaton. So I doubt just switch in into it on this. Okay. Who is coming in? Hey, it's a Don fan. That's fine. This is dead. This is dead now. Amazing. This is dead now. Cool. This is amazing. Helmet's a bit annoying and the recoil. Yeah, helmet is a bit annoying. But now I really don't have to be Tinka Ton now, do I? No, I I I. I I can go gastro. Yeah, I'm fine. I can go. I can go gastro. Now I'm looking back. I should. I should have honestly won gas on the Palfin because they were baby form. I should have honestly. I was just calling them making a double in the Roaring Moon or something. That's that's a bit of an up a misplay at this point, I believe. 
Yeah, that was a misplay. You may just give me the Don fan because there's not much. You could go Tinka, but that doesn't really get you anywhere. I don't. I believe it doesn't really get you anywhere. Um, I'm just trying to think what you do here. Okay, yeah, you give me the Tinka. You give me this. Just huge for me. Just honestly huge for me. That's fine. Um. Okay, this is fine for Corver. This is fine. Yeah, the thing thing that don't comes in now. Just good to know. Yeah, the rocks. You take some shit from rocks. Okay. Now what do I do? Do I just click Brave Bird on this? Cause honestly, I'm I'm. I'm honestly afraid to do that and go for a roost net the following turn. Yeah, I'm honestly afraid to just stay in here. If you click knock off, I can roost next turn. Okay, you said you said your rock. That's fine. I believe that is fine. Unless you're like max physical, you, you probably you're probably you're probably spit that for the uh, a potential spathra. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, cool. Okay, now what do you go for? Knock off? I'm fine to go for knock off. On my corv. Yeah, I'm fine to go for knock off. You're, you're spadef. You're spadef tinka. Good to know that you are spadef tinka, Ton. My goal is to hopefully get, get off a roost. F okay, you you just gigaton. That's fine. I made out my own recoil. You, you are still alive, but I'm gone. So that's honestly a good trade, I'd say. Let's see, that is a good trade, sorta. Um, do I, do I go gastro now? I think I'm I'm going. I think I'm going gastro now. Going for Earth Power. You want Roaring Moon or who's switching to this? Palafin? C504. Is that the Hatterene? That is the Hatterene. Okay. Okay. That's. I'm doing zero to this. My best play probably is going Sylveon on this Hatterene. Yeah, my best bet is probably going Sylveon the Hatterin. You can just double check. Sylveon, Hatterin, level 100. Um. Um. Yeah, my best bet is probably the Sylveon on this hat. I doubt you have nuzzled this in the game. But you may. I doubt it though. You go, you, okay, you go for Trick Run. Hmm. Interesting. Trick Run. Interesting. I think my best bet is just to go for Hyper Voice here. Yeah, that most likely is my play, just going for Hyper Voice. Side so is gonna hurt a little bit. That hurts a lot, but you are, you are offensive. Okay. Hmm. I'm not winning this, guys. I'm just saying I'm not. Don't think I have the pieces I need. Um. Hmm. The thing done's on the. The thing. Oh wait. Hold on. Tink done dies to rocks. Hattering. It will kill Sylveon, and then it could go Lycan Rock and Excelor Rock. But then Gather can be Palafin. Yeah, I think we should have to go for Hyper Voice again, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I think now I go. Wait, does that gonna kill this thing? It should. This thing's like offensive as shit. As I think it's really offensive. My Lycanroc, Dusk, sh wait, level 100, yeah, 100, yeah, duh. 
Okay. That may be Accelerock range. Like, I, I just gotta go for it. Gasoline lose the Giga Drain if they, they have it. So I just gotta hope that's Accelerock range. Which, that should be Accelerock range. I am Adamant Band. That should be Excel range. That should be Excel range. I am Adamant Choice Band. That should be range of my, um, Lycanroc. I assume you're just go bringing Tinkton sacking it off. Yeah, that's what they yeah, that's fair. That's a, that's a fair boy. Yo, if I, if I was my Pash, if that was my if I was my Pash show as the set, it would have it would have just won here. That's fine. If I was my Pash show as the though, ah. Mid the Palfin, yeah. I, I'm now. They just go for sub and I lose at this point. They go for sub and just lose. Trick room still up? It is for one turn left. And I'm just calling it now. They're gonna go for sub and that's gonna be the game over, folks. Cause I don't I don't beat this man. I don't beat this man. I lost many mock. I don't beat this man. Sub, sub. Drain punch. This set is just gross to me. This set's gross to me. It's going to be um either a bulk up taunt or sub bulk up. That's what that's what's going to be here. It's going to be the bulk up taunt or sub bulk up. If it's sub, I'm just done for. Yup, and that is the game because it's a bit of palfin. GG's folks. I know, I know what this one does. Yeah, it's not not gonna break. I know. I I expect this set. Yeah, that's what I expected. Yep, yep, exactly what I expected because it can it can spit up, and I I really could not afford any um defense investment on the gas right now. It's gonna click Earth. It's gonna click um bulk up, and the game's over. Yep. Yeah, that's a game. I'm not mad. I'm not mad on it. I'm I'm not mad or anything, honestly. I just don't know how I could have played around this, honestly, in, in my prep. Because I bulk up. My only my only owl was like a Sylveon, but someone didn't take a um hyper voice after a didn't take a jump after a plus one. So that was like I didn't really have a single answer to Palafin on this team. I didn't have an answer to Roaring Moon on this team. So the game's pretty much over now. And yeah, the game's pretty much over. Unless my Lycanroc can somehow crit, like have like the biggest crit Lycanroc, um, Accelerock. But yeah, the game's over at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, GG's. Yeah, um, this is just, this is just, this is gonna be a little stalling match for the end game. But yeah, um, my, um, Garrus really loses to Palafin. Because, yeah, th this mod just, this exact set, I literally have up here, I literally e am expecting their Palafin, but I, I made a team that th I thought they would bring. They literally, I expected, um, saw bulk up, drain punch, jet punch, with, um, 140 HP, which would give them the HP number, um, one or two fizz uh, go attacking on two thirty-six spadaf. Just have a bunch of spadaf in this thing to beat the um Gastrodon. Okay, so if I can honestly crit, let me see if I can crit an Accelerock on the Palafin. Let's see, plus two, plus two, plus two. Okay, we have an out. So we have an out. We can, we can crit Accelerock and we then win. We can crit Accelerock and the Palafin in the game and it will be better, but if it's like a max HP, which I'm assuming it is, it's not gonna kill. So that's, that's, that's out the window. That's all I'm saying, but yeah, um, Gastro doesn't really get anything to break a Palafin sub ever, like, cause, like, Gastro's just Palafin sub fodder, because, um, 
Looking at uh, Gasworth's moveset, like, it doesn't get anything. Like, it gets Chilling Water, which doesn't break Sob. Avalanche doesn't break Sob, or Blizzard. Um, only, like, Sludge Bomb doesn't break Sob. Like, this Mon never beat this Palafin set. I'll get this counter, which doesn't help if you're sub, but like I'm saying, like, Mon gets counter, but, um, Stockpile, it gets beaten up by one form by Bulk Up, like, Gash was nothing for Palvin, it, it was my only water resist, because my only other water resist was Psyguzar, which didn't have a good match, I, I had, I had a really good, I really had a, I, I had a really good, Successful Lycanroc, um, Cyclozar set in many mocks. In many mocks, I, in many teams I had, I had, um, Cyclozar with, let me just see, I had, I had, um, Cyclozar with, um, Expert Ball, Shift Gear, Fire Fang Lead. I had, um, Cyclozar with a Sword Fest. If not enough, um, enough invest, I could have recovered, but it wouldn't have mattered. The thing beats a 1v1 anyway, because it's recovered lost power points, so it couldn't ever even be a 1v1 anyway. Ooh, that crit. That may put in range low key. That may look key put in range of Excel Wait, how 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 bulked up is it? It is plus three. It's plus three. Okay. I can rock. I can rock. Wait, that might may have been in range because of the helmet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, no, it's not in range. I need a crit. I need I need a crit, um, Accelerock, and I need Accelerock to beat the other two months. That's all we gotta do. Lightning Rock, that's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. Lightning Rock, crit. It's not gonna crit. But Lightning Rock, crit. Lightning Rock, crit. That's it. Just cream and win. Cream and win. Nah, okay. GG's to T Row Price and the uh, Columbus Cobalians. Um, this matchup was just bad for me. This matchup was just terrible for me. I'm gonna be real. This matchup was just terrible. So I don't really know what to do, really, what to blame or whatever. The matchup was just terrible. I had no answers to Roaring Moon. I had no answers to Palafin. I had Annihilate. You know, Mox just did well against me. I didn't really um. I think I was a bit annoying in Hatterene. I thought one of those would be Max Buff Cover Cloak. I didn't really, didn't really see both of them coming. But yeah. Um you used to Tiro and the um the Columbus Cobalians. Um that's gonna unfortunately be the end of our of our BBR run for the, the BBR D League. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, my subtitle squad, and to everyone else that's watching, thank you.